Ever wondered what lies beyond the horizon? What if it's an ethereal iceberg kingdom filled with mysterious creatures and untold adventures? Welcome to the Iceberg Kingdom, a frozen adventure. This sleep story offers you a journey into the heart of a magical kingdom hidden within an iceberg. Through the eyes of our brave Princess Alara, you'll witness friendships forged in ice, face monstrous threats, and uncover lessons of courage and unity. This story is more than just a bedtime tale. It's an adventure that promises to whisk you away into a world of fantasy and wonder, right from the comfort of your own bed. Once upon a time, nestled on the edge of the world, where the deep cerulean sea met the cloud-kissed sky, lay the picturesque kingdom of Maritimia. This kingdom, adorned with charming cobblestone streets and bustling markets, was home to a spirited and curious young princess named Alara. Princess Alara was no ordinary royal. She was a girl of ceaseless curiosity, possessed by a wanderlust that was as boundless as the sea itself. Her heart resonated with the rhythmic crashing of the waves against the kingdom's rocky cliffs, her dreams as vast and profound as the ocean's depths. Her castle, an impressive structure of weathered stone and grand towers, stood tall against the sea's backdrop. Its highest tower was Alara's sanctuary, where she would retreat each day to the solitude of her quarters, her personal observatory of the sea. From there, the world seemed infinite, and the horizon, where the sea met the sky, was a line of tantalizing mystery that drew her gaze time and again. She was a creature of the coastline, her heart intertwined with the salty breeze, her soul echoing with the seagull's call. She would spend her days staring out at the sea, her sharp emerald eyes seeking answers to questions not yet formed. The rolling waves whispered tales of adventure and unknown lands, beckoning her to journey beyond her castle walls. The ocean, with its unfathomable expanse, was a puzzle she longed to solve, a song she yearned to sing. Each ship that sailed across its vast stretch was a story waiting to be told, each wave that crashed against the shoreline a secret to be unraveled. Alara's heart longed for the thrill of discovery and the freedom of the uncharted. The desire for adventure pulsed in her veins like a wild, untamed river. She yearned to break free from the confines of her royal duties, to feel the ocean spray on her face, to delve into the mysteries the sea whispered in its ceaseless rhythm. One stormy night, as the moon wrestled with the clouds and the sea roared in defiant chorus, an extraordinary spectacle unfolded near the shores of Maritimia. A gargantuan iceberg, glistening under the ghostly pallor of the moon, drifted eerily close. It shimmered with an ethereal light that seemed to emanate from its core, casting dancing reflections on the churning waves around it. It was a beacon in the tempest, a silent siren singing its song of mysterious allure. Princess Alara, ever the seeker of the unknown, was drawn to this spectral phenomenon like a moth to a flame. With her heart pounding in her chest and excitement coursing through her veins, she commandeered a sturdy ship from the royal fleet. Her hands, though unaccustomed to the rough hemp of the ship's ropes, held a resolve that made them steady. She hoisted the sails, her silhouette framed against the tempestuous sky, a portrait of determination and audacity. The sea was a battlefield, waves rising like colossal walls, only to crash back down into the abyss. Winds howled, tugging at her sails, but Alara pressed on, navigating through the raging storm. The lighthouse's beam was but a distant flicker, a fleeting reminder of the safety she had left behind. Ahead, the glowing iceberg was her only guide, a mystical lighthouse in the tempestuous sea. As she approached the iceberg, the storm seemed to lose its fury, as if bowing to the power of the icy behemoth. The iceberg was a marvel, a floating fortress of ice gleaming under the stormy skies. It was not merely a block of ice, it was a kingdom, 
ensconced within walls of shimmering crystals, a citadel of ice that seemed to defy the laws of nature. The kingdom was an enchanting panorama of iridescent ice and snow, bathed in a soft, otherworldly glow. It was as though the iceberg had swallowed a piece of the moon, its light lending the kingdom an ethereal beauty. The architecture was intricate, with towering ice spires and sprawling frosty courtyards. It was sheathed in an eternal winter, a realm where the snowflakes danced in an unending waltz, where the cold was a loving mother cradling her icy children. Alara's heart fluttered in her chest as she took in the sight. She had found what she had yearned for, an adventure, an unknown kingdom waiting to share its secrets. She had set sail into a storm and discovered a world encased in ice and mystery. Her journey into the Iceberg Kingdom was just beginning. Alara disembarked from her ship her boots crunching on the pristine snow as she ventured into the heart of the Iceberg Kingdom. This realm was a majestic spectacle of grandeur and beauty, where the ordinary laws of nature seemed to bend in deference to the magic of ice. The palaces were breathtaking, crafted from glistening ice crystals that caught the light, scattering it in a dazzling display of colors. These structures stood tall and proud, their spires piercing the icy mists that cloaked the kingdom. The landscape was dotted with trees, not of wood and leaf, but of ice, their branches crystalline and sparkling, resembling diamonds painstakingly cut by a master jeweler. They were a silent testament to the kingdom's unique magic, their splendor a sight to behold. In this icy wonderland, Alara was met with beings as extraordinary as their surroundings. They were the Glacianites, sentient creatures sculpted entirely from ice. Their bodies shimmered with an internal light, and their eyes glowed with a warmth that seemed to contradict their chilly form. Their voices, though sounding like the tinkling of wind chimes, carried a depth of wisdom and kindness. The Glacianites were peaceful creatures, their society founded on harmony and mutual respect. For centuries they had lived undisturbed, their lives intertwined with the rhythm of the ice, their hearts beating in sync with the slow, soothing melody of the iceberg's drift. However, a shadow had fallen over their tranquil existence with the arrival of the snow beast. This monstrous creature was an abomination of ice and snow, its form a terrifying distortion of the serene beauty that characterized the Glacianites. It was a predator in this peaceful kingdom, its icy breath capable of turning the sentient Glacianites into solid, lifeless ice statues. Its arrival had cast a pall of fear over the kingdom, turning the once harmonious realm into a place of dread and uncertainty. Alara's heart ached for the Glacianites and their plight, she saw the fear in their glowing eyes, felt their desperation echoing in the icy air. A fierce determination ignited within her. She would help these creatures, stand against the snow beast, and bring peace back to the Iceberg Kingdom. The true depth of her adventure was just beginning to unfold. Alara, with her newfound resolve, joined forces with the Glacianites. They were a motley crew of warriors, scholars, and healers, each contributing their unique skills to the daunting mission that lay ahead. They trained Alara, teaching her to tread on the slippery ice, to read the swirling snowflakes, and to listen to the whispering winds, each lesson bringing her closer to understanding the true essence of the Iceberg Kingdom. Their journey led them through a labyrinth of ice caverns, each a glittering maze of stalactites and stalagmites that seemed to close in on them. The caverns were treacherous, fraught with hidden chasms and slippery surfaces. Alara battled through these obstacles, her determination a beacon of hope for her Glacianite companions. They journeyed on, confronting the unyielding forces of the kingdom. Frosty winds howled around them, 
each gust a biting icy claw that seemed intent on piercing her heart and chilling her resolve. Yet Alara stood firm, her spirit burning like a blazing fire within her, refusing to bow to the cold. The snowstorms were the hardest to brave. They were fierce, relentless, and blinding, threatening to bury everything in their path under a blanket of white. Entire villages had succumbed to these storms, their existence wiped clean, leaving behind only a pristine, haunting emptiness. But Elara, guided by her Glacianite friends, pressed on, each step a testament to her unyielding spirit. In the heart of a frozen citadel, veiled by a curtain of falling snow, Alara discovered a relic of immense power, the Crystal of Frost. The crystal pulsed with a serene blue light, its glow reflecting off the ice walls around it. It was said to hold the power to control all ice and snow, a myth passed down through generations of Glacianites. The crystal felt cool to the touch, its pulsating energy resonating with her own heartbeat. It was a tangible source of hope, a weapon in their looming battle against the snow beast. With the crystal of frost in her possession and a band of loyal Glacianites by her side, Alara was ready to face the snow beast. The journey had been fraught with challenges, each obstacle testing her courage and resolve. But she had emerged stronger, her spirit tempered by the icy winds and her heart warmed by the bonds she had formed. The stage was set for the final confrontation, the destiny of the Iceberg Kingdom hanging in the balance. Back in Maritimia, the glowing iceberg hadn't gone unnoticed. Word spread like wildfire about the kingdom's mystical neighbor. It drew the attention of rival kingdoms, their eyes glinting with greed at the prospect of claiming the iceberg's magical properties. They envisioned power, the likes of which the world had never seen, their ambitions growing with each whispered rumor of the iceberg kingdom. Word of these brewing threats reached Alara via a messenger bird from Maritimia. The parchment clutched in its beak bore news that made her heart sink. She was torn, her duty as the Princess of Maritimia compelling her to protect her own kingdom, while her bond with the Glacianites urged her to defend the Iceberg Kingdom. She realized, however, that the fates of both kingdoms were now interwoven. To protect one was to protect the other. Alara knew that brute force was not the answer. The rival kingdoms were formidable, their armies vast and powerful. Instead, she decided to employ the art of diplomacy, the lessons she had learned in the royal court of Maritimia becoming her weapon. She dispatched letters to the rival kingdoms, her words a blend of tact and firmness. She acknowledged their interest in the iceberg, while respectfully emphasizing the sovereignty of the iceberg kingdom and its right to peace. She underscored the potential devastation that a conflict could cause, appealing to their sense of fairness and urging them to reconsider their plans. Simultaneously, Alara developed clever strategies to safeguard the iceberg kingdom. She worked with the Glacianites, leveraging their intimate knowledge of the terrain. They devised deceptive routes leading into endless ice mazes and orchestrated illusionary tactics that made the kingdom appear barren and inhospitable, deterring the rival kingdom's scouts and explorers. In the midst of her diplomatic efforts and defensive strategies, Elara found herself growing into a leader. She was no longer just a princess, but a protector, fighting not just for her kingdom, but for her friends and their home. The challenges she faced were daunting, but they steeled her resolve, shaping her into a force to be reckoned with. With every step she took, she became more intertwined with the fate of the Iceberg Kingdom, her destiny as its defender becoming increasingly clear. Alara's journey through the Iceberg Kingdom was not merely a physical one, but an odyssey of self-discovery. Along the way, she came to realize that her courage, 
determination and the fire of resolve burning in her heart were her true strengths. Her royal status might have defined her in Maritimia, but here in the Iceberg Kingdom, it was her bravery, her tenacity, and her compassion that made her a true leader. She was not just a princess. She was a warrior, a friend, a beacon of hope in the face of adversity. The friendship she forged with the Glacianites taught her invaluable lessons. She learned the power of unity, of standing shoulder to shoulder against common threats. The Glacianites, despite their fears, had rallied with her, their trust in her a testament to the bonds they had formed. They taught her the importance of teamwork, of leveraging each other's strengths and compensating for each other's weaknesses. Most importantly, Alara learned the value of standing up for what she believed in. She was fighting not just for the Iceberg Kingdom, but for the principle of sovereignty, for the right of every kingdom to exist in peace. She was defending her friends, standing up against threats, not out of duty, but because it was the right thing to do. Armed with these lessons and the powerful Crystal of Frost, Alara confronted the Snow Beast. The creature towered over her, its icy breath chilling the air, its presence a stark contrast to the serene beauty of the kingdom. Elara, however, stood her ground, her determination burning brighter than ever. With the crystal of frost in her hand, she faced the beast. She did not attack, but instead directed the crystal's energy towards the beast. The crystal pulsed, its light enveloping the snow beast. The light seemed to penetrate the beast, reaching its icy heart. The snow beast shuddered, its monstrous form trembling as the light washed over it. Slowly, the snow beast began to change. Its terrifying form softened, its icy heart thawing. The beast, once a symbol of fear, was transformed, its icy exterior melting away to reveal a creature of the ice, not unlike the Glacianites themselves. With the snow beast's transformation, the Iceberg Kingdom was finally free from its reign of terror. The Glacianites cheered, their joy echoing through the kingdom. The threat of the snow beast was no more, and the kingdom could finally return to its peaceful existence. Alara had done it. She had restored peace to the Iceberg Kingdom. Her journey had been fraught with challenges and danger, but she had prevailed, and in doing so, she had discovered her true strengths, the importance of friendship, and the power of standing up for what she believed in. She was not just the princess of Maritimia, she was the savior of the Iceberg Kingdom, a true friend to the Glacianites, and a hero in her own right. Ilara's return to Maritimia was met with a mix of relief and awe. Her people, who had anxiously awaited her safe return, greeted her with teary eyes and wide smiles. But as they welcomed their princess home, they couldn't help but notice the transformation that had taken place. Elara had left as a young princess, her heart filled with dreams of adventure and her eyes reflecting the innocent curiosity of youth. Now she returned as a seasoned explorer, a defender of kingdoms, and a beacon of courage. She had ventured into the unknown, navigated through icy dangers, and stood toe to toe with threats that would have made even the bravest of knights tremble. Her eyes, once full of longing, now sparkled with wisdom and experience. Her posture, once that of a sheltered princess, was now straight and confident exuding a resilience that could only come from braving tempests and enduring hardships. Her spirit, though tested in the icy trials of the Iceberg Kingdom, burned brighter than ever, the flame of her resolve illuminating her path forward. Elara brought back with her more than just the memories of her frozen adventure. She brought back a piece of the Iceberg Kingdom in her heart. Her bond with the Glacianites, a cherished treasure that transcended the boundaries of kingdoms. She carried with her the lessons she had learned, the values of courage, friendship, 
and standing up for what is right now etched into her very being. The princess who once gazed longingly at the horizon now looked towards the future with a brave heart and a wise mind. Her adventure in the Iceberg Kingdom had indeed been a frozen adventure, a journey through ice and snow, through danger and uncertainty. But it had also been an adventure that had warmed her heart, the friendships she made, the courage she discovered, and the resilience she demonstrated forever imprinting themselves onto her spirit. As she stood on the shores of Maritimia, her kingdom, her home, Alara realized that she was no longer just a princess yearning for adventure. She was a young woman who had lived through an extraordinary journey, braved the unknown, and emerged stronger. She had not only proved her bravery to all, but had also discovered her true self. Her adventure in the Iceberg Kingdom had forever changed her, shaping her into a leader, a protector, a friend, and most importantly, a brave heart ready to face whatever the future held for her.